Begin the low range test by turning the unit on. The arrow should indicate the low range channel. If not, press the menu key. The display will show SEL. A flashing arrow indicates the current range. Press the read slash enter key to toggle between ranges. Press menu again to accept and exit back to the measurement screen. Fill a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder to the 20 milliliter mark with sample. Add the contents of one molybdenum-1 reagent powder pillow to the cylinder. Stopper the cylinder and invert. Split the sample by filling two 10 milliliter sample cells to the 10 milliliter mark. Cap one of the cells. This is the blank. Using the calibrated dropper, add 0.5 milliliters of molybdenum-2 to the sample. Cap the cell and swirl to mix. Wipe the sample cells free of liquid. Wait two minutes for full color development. Place the blank in the cell holder, cover the blank with instrument cap, and press the zero slash scroll button. Place the prepared sample in the cell holder, cover the sample cell with the instrument cap, and press the read slash enter button. This sample reads at 2.10 parts per million. To begin the high range test, switch to the high range channel in the menu function. Fill a 25 milliliter mixing graduated cylinder to the 5 milliliter mark with sample. Using DI water, dilute up to the 20 milliliter mark. Add the contents of one molybdenum-1 reagent powder pillow to the cylinder. Stopper the cylinder and invert. Split the sample by filling two 10 milliliter sample cells to the 10 milliliter mark. Cap one of the cells. This is the blank. Using the calibrated dropper, add 0.5 milliliters of molybdenum-2 to the sample. Cap the cell and swirl to mix. Wipe the sample cells free of liquid. Wait two minutes for full color development. Place the blank in the cell holder, cover the blank with instrument cap, and press the zero slash scroll button. Place the prepared sample in the cell holder, Cover the sample cell with the instrument cap and press the read slash enter button. This sample reads at 10.6 parts per million. This is the final result. The PC2 has already factored in the dilution done at the beginning of the test.